Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my 21 week update and also the gender reveal since I already do know what I'm having. So we are having a girl. So we're having a little girl and we do have a name picked out but um, I don't want to release it right now so I'll let you guys know once we get further. We are having a little princess. So yay. So um, I got this for, I got this outfit from somebody that I work with. Um, she gave it to me and I thought it was so cute. It's like a little bunny. So yeah, we're having a little girl. So on May 4th, I went to my anatomy scan and we can also find out the gender that day. Just to see if everything's developing good on the baby and all. So May 4th is the day that we found out. She gave us a couple of ultrasound pictures. And um, I just want to show you guys a before, what it looked like before when I was seven weeks pregnant. When I first went out, I was pregnant. This was the ultrasound that they had given me when I found out. So I want to show you guys a comparison to how little it was and how big it has gotten. The little circle above it is called the yolk sac, and that's just there as the, um, in the beginning. It goes away after a while and becomes a placenta. So that little circle above it is a yolk sac, but underneath is a little little bean of baby girl and I just thought this was so funny because how much it grew so that is it before can you guys see how big it has gotten so it has gotten this little to be in this big how crazy is that right and my cousin actually gave me this picture frame I thought it was so cute it's a sneak peek it is truly amazing how someone so small could inspire a love so grand so it's a cute little picture frame I hang it I put it up on my bureau and then we got the picture saying it's a girl so um, yeah so it just has a little arrow right there and it says girl on it so that's when we found out we were having a little girl everything is looking really good with the baby um, the development and everything like that um, I believe the lady told me that the baby was measuring uh, 10 pounds I believe 10 pounds yeah the heartbeat when I went to my appointment last month was 145 and then this time she um, heard the heart baby's heartbeat um, she told me it was 140 154 I'm sorry 154 it was so yeah the baby's heartbeat is strong and healthy I have bad feeling any symptoms um, and as you guys know I didn't have any morning sickness in my first trimester and then they say in your second trimester that it starts to ease down but I didn't have any at all which is super good because I heard it's really like it's not easy to have the morning sickness it's like terrible so I'm super um, blessed that I did not have morning sickness so I was going to do a old wives tale a video but um, I ended up doing it but I didn't like how the video came out and it was actually accurate um, a lot of the points went towards girl and um, the Chinese gender chart was accurate it was a girl and a lot of my the old wife sale that I just I filmed that day, but I didn't upload the video because I didn't like how it came out. Um, was accurate. It was all girl. I only have one point for a boy. So which was more if you have morning sickness, um, it's a girl, and if not, it's a boy. So I don't have any more sickness, but it's a girl. So so I ordered this book online um, on Amazon. I think about, I believe it was less than ten dollars. It's the book of what to expect when you're expecting. It looks like this. I ordered it online. It's such a thick book and um, I do have a bookmark in it. And it just tells you things that you would want to know during your pregnancy. Things that you probably didn't know that you'll learn in this book. Um, I think it taught me a lot so far and I'm not even halfway done. So I've been reading this book like if I get bored or you know if I want to relax and just read something because I'm not much of a reader. But, uh, things like this it gets me learning so I like to read this when I get like bored if I have nothing to do I'll just pick this up and start reading it um, and it teaches you a lot so it's the number one best-selling pregnancy book so yeah I got this as in prenatal vitamins I've been taking them every day um, which is the CVS prenatal vitamins with minerals in it so I do have um, a lot left so, um, yeah, I've been taking my prenatals every day, um, which is a good thing. So, I take this every day. And I usually take it at nighttime. And, um, what goes for, like, a belly bomb or, like, a belly 
moisturizer to prevent, or if you already have it, stretch marks. Um, I already had stretch marks to begin with, just because I'm not a skinny girl. Um, I always have like um, stretch marks on my stomach to begin with, but um, I just know they're gonna get worsened, and they also they could get itchy. So I bought this at Target the other day. It is the organic belly balm. All natural and hydrating for the skin. So, um, yeah. so it looks like this. Probably too bright to see, but it looks like that. And then um, it kind of looks like a like a um, like a wax. So yeah, it kind of looks like a wax um, product and tons of different oils that is really good for you. It's organic. It was fifteen ninety nine at Target. So if I like it, um, I'm gonna use the whole thing up, obviously. But if um, if I end up liking it, I'll definitely repurchase it. Um, if I don't, then I'll probably just try something new. So I got that. So I bought a, I bought a few things, and I want to show you guys what I got. Um, a few things that people had gotten me. So I'll just start off with the things that people had gotten for me. So I received this when I first found out I was pregnant. Someone at my job gave it to me, and it was very thoughtful and sweet. So she gave me this little rattle. It's like a gray rattle, and it has like yellow and gray on it. Um, I don't know if you guys see that, but it rattles. So, so she makes these little booties for me. They're so cute. They're handmade. So, like this. They're like a yellow pale color. So yeah, these little booties that she has stood up for me, and I appreciate it. But then another person from my job got me this, and it's like a blanket with an elephant on it. So cute and it's so fuzzy, fuzzy. It's so cute. And then she also got me some socks along with it, so she got me these ones, Gerber baby socks, and then she got me these ones, which are a little, so cute, they have little princess crowns on them, and this one looks like a ballerina one, so, so cute. And then she also got me some baby washcloths, different color, and then she got me this baby pacifier, silicone, zero plus months, so pink one so that is it that she got me and then the rest I had purchased with my boyfriend we went to Target and I saw a few things and I know you know people tell me not to buy anything because baby showers coming up um, in a couple months but you know me I just had to go out I had gotten these little booties they are so cute they're the cutest things ever and they're the baby beauties zero through six months how cute are these these are so cute so I had to buy them. Um, they're my favorite color, which is hot pink, and they have these little like bears on the on um, the tops, and they are so cute. So I had to get this. I also got these pairs of fuzzy socks, zero through three months. So they're like a cream and a light pink color. You see that? My ring light is so bright. This is to die for. It's so cute, and it's my favorite print, which is cheetah. So, um, this is newborn, and it just looks like this, like a, um, a onesie, and it has little feet, which is so cute, and so, this is so adorable, so, this is a newborn outfit, onesies, that's what they are, the onesies, and they come with one, two, three, four, five of them, so, this is sweet on it, and this one says sweetie, so, it comes with different patterns. So they're so cute. So I had to buy that. And actually, these um, onesies go with these little booties. If you guys can tell, but they go together. And last but not least, my dad had gotten me this for a Mother's Day gift, which is so nice and sweet. So thanks, Dad, if you're watching. Frames this one. Um, this is a sonogram, a sonogram um, picture frame, and it says "Love at First Sight." so cute. You can probably you can put the um, ultrasound in here. This one, which is a really nice one. It's my favorite one. It's a big one. It's a uh, photo moments frame. And these both are by the brand Pearhead. Um, this was so cute. So I love it. And then he also got me a gift card to Baby R Us. So. And he also got me like a strawberry shortcake dessert. 
which I ate it all and it's all gone. So it was so good. So thank you, Dad. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will try to do um, another um, pregnancy update. Um, a couple, probably do one maybe at 24 weeks. I'm not going to do one every every new week because I feel like nothing's going to change, like my symptoms wise or whatever. So um, my next doctor's appointment is coming up. It's this Wednesday, which is going to be May 18th, which is on a Wednesday. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys don't follow me on my social medias, make sure to do that, to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye.